when um, Gerard sent out the, the note last week to say, are there any volunteers who will testify today and, and share a testimony, um, the first thing I said to my, my husband, no way. <laughs> and, and the reason for that was, you know, the last couple of maybe month, month and a half to two months, we've been going through a bit of a rough patch. So I haven't been feeling my best. I haven't been behaving my best. And I, and I really felt that, you know, because of where I am and what I'm experiencing, I actually don't know what to share. I actually don't know where to start. And I don't feel that I'm really being a very good Christian as it is. And, um, and Tuesday um, night at our revival group, Gerard said to me, he, he looked at me and he said, um, he really senses that God is saying that I need to turn my eyes away from my circumstances and have a look at what he's doing. And um, so I, <laughs> I took your advice. <laughs> and, um, and on Wednesday morning, I, I sent him a hurried note to say, I think I will do this. And um, so I've really been, been thinking about that. And, and I realized that, you know, despite the fact that over the last couple of weeks, I may not have been my, my best, and I've, I've probably been a, a mess, and I really thought that I was a royal mess. And, um, and when I finally plucked up enough courage to just glimpse over to Father to see what he was saying in the midst of this, he was saying to me, just drop the mess because you're royal. <laughs> you're royal because you belong to me. He said that I am his and he said that he chose me. And he said, look at that mess <laughs> that you think you made. I've already forgiven you for that. You know, and I remember those things no more. So, he, and he said to me, when he looks at me, he sees me spotless and blameless and whiter than snow. So I'm just, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for everything that I've learned during this year. And I think the overarching theme now that I've really, because I kind of, you know, looked through all the assignments and everything, what I've really realized is that through all of this, God has been wooing me. Um, there's been... I have been rather terrified of having a relationship and an intimate relationship with Father God. And, and that's been based on my own personal experiences with my own earthly dad. And God has just through this year been saying to me continually, I see you. I know you. I value you. I love you. I'm here for you. I've got you. <laughs> And um, he kept on saying, and I've got a great plan for you. <laughs> and um, so I'm really standing on that. And, and I feel that he's been drawing me into that, that relationship that I've been so scared of. And I know it's baby steps. And he's been, he's been so kind and so gentle and so patient. But I am so excited because I know that when I stay in that place with him and as I get to know him and as I get to grow closer to him, when the time comes and I can step out, because we will, we didn't do it this year, but we will next year, Ismay. <laughs> when I can finally step out, I know that every word, every touch, every sign, every wonder, every miracle will point to the extravagant heart of God that he has shown to me and will point to his unwavering, unshakable, immeasurable love. Thank you.